welcome to my, uh, I guess it's like fifth, uh, video on my editor and accompanying game. Um, basically, I'm just going to demonstrate you some minor revisions, uh, in the weather system and the, uh, the map export. Uh, the map now exports to XML and you can open it up from anywhere. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be in the content uh, folder. So, right now I just made a little map. It's pretty basic. There's just a bunch of trees and stuff. Um, you just get the collision. Uh, let's see. Maybe make like a little pond here or something. Okay. So, as you see in the top right, or top left, I'm tired today. Uh, there's a start uh, event with an S in it, the S thing. Um, you just right click anywhere you want on the map and then just click set player start like that. And then when you export the file, um, it will export that as well. So when it loads it up in the game, the player will start from that location. So, I'm going to uh, go to my game folder. Where is it? Excuse me, I have some, like, don't really feel good today. I have a cold or something. Um, okay. Tile game. Alright, this is a, another map. I don't want to lose this map, so I'm going to copy it paste it into something else. Oh, uh, as you can see here, this is my old map type. It was just a bunch of layers, separate layer files, and if you open them up, they're just, like, text files. There's nothing, there's, like, no XML. So, I'm gonna save this here. Yes. Okay. So, just to show you, I can import that, and it'll import with the uh, player starting point as well. So right now I'm just going to show you uh, how that output looks. So I'm going to load up that file I just saved. Okay. Um, so now I'm in XML Notepad. Uh, you see the first two here because they're because um, they're out of any folders. Uh, if I would expand all, you see it's perfect XML. It just shows up as uh, all the text that you normally see in a regular text file, and without the the folder names which are over here. I don't really know XML. I just kind of threw together code. Uh, that look like XML and apparently it worked so yeah so it's it's pretty simple to use I mistook it for some kind of like crazy ass language alright so I'm going to load that up in tile game now I think this should work I'm not I think it should yeah okay so, because uh, I haven't created a new map in a while. Um, okay. So, as you can see, the player is put in the map. Uh, he walks around. Uh, he goes through objects like normal. He collides with objects because I did the collision map. And shit like that. But, um. Wait a second. Oh yeah, uh, two minor, well, two major changes in the game code are the addition of a weather system. Uh, so this is it going to night. Well, he's not centered. I got centered. So it goes to night, 
and then if you click it again it'll go to day of course I'm not gonna be clicking any buttons in game like I'm not gonna allow the player to click any buttons it just is just for debugging purposes uh, in game I'll probably implement some kind of time system where it does that automatically uh, also when you enter certain maps, I'll have a weather setting in the editor. I don't currently, but that's very easy to add. I could do it about an hour. Probably should. Um, okay. So this is my new rain. I haven't shown this one off. It's slightly uh, blue rain, and each point is drawn, I think, five times uh, to the right and down. So it looks like a line, but it's really just a bunch of points. Uh, this doesn't take up, it, you know, it takes up more processing power, like two times as much as snow would, but since I limited the amount of particles on screen to something less than snow, uh, thankfully it doesn't take up more time than it should. So I can take that off, and it has like a weird, yeah, and then I can put snow on as well. So just to show you the ease of use, so I could like put both of them on. Um, and they're both using the same class. It's just a modified version of the same class, the same draw van, all that fancy stuff. So, I'm going to turn that one off. And you can do those uh, at night as well. Um, but, it'll take too long for me to do that right here. So, thanks for watching. Uh... I'll have more videos up shortly showcasing um, more than likely improvements in the event system of the editor, such as teleportation, a mini map, and uh, shit like that. So, thanks for watching.